Ryan, crawl, crawl out of the elevator, okay? Hey, come this way. What am I supposed to do? We have medical coming. Okay, the medical right now. I can't breathe. Do I go out there and help him? No, I don't want you to go out there. For the past year, we've been showing you this police body camera video of Ryan Outlaw, who had been stabbed in an elevator. He bled to death as two Salt Lake City police officers watched and declined to give first aid. Now Ryan Outlaw's family has filed a lawsuit against Salt Lake City and both officers. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz joins us live in studio this evening with this update. Adam. Well, Bob, according to this lawsuit, attorneys believe those two officers, Ian Anderson and Jada Brown, would have followed their training and given first aid if it was an officer who was stabbed in an elevator. But on November 13th, 2020, they chose not to help Ryan Outlaw. Attorneys are calling it a deliberate indifference to his medical needs. Last year, we showed you how Chief Brown and Mayor Mendenhall praised those officers while at the same time putting them under an internal affairs investigation because of our reporting. Then the department cleared them both of all wrongdoing. The family says if Salt Lake City refuses to hold these officers accountable, if Salt Lake City won't give them justice, maybe the courts will. Are you letting him just play like We're not paramedics. We have medical on the way. I feel like I should have grabbed my chest seal. What? I feel like I should have grabbed my chest seal, but there was just so much going on at that moment. That last exchange is another point brought up by Outlaw's attorneys. That was Officer Jada Brown admitting that she should have done something different. Ryan Outlaw has four children, but the lawsuit does not say how much money the family is asking for. We have asked Salt Lake City for a comment. So far, they have not responded. Reporting in studio tonight, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.